here because thousands of families' lives are at risk. Yeah. Women and children, we are here because over 1,100 people have been dislocated and are being dislocated from this complex where you stand. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We have another 3,000 folks who are in zones two and three who are still living on contaminated soil. That ain't right. Yeah. It ain't right. It just ain't right. We are here because 90% of the homes in East Chicago have lead contaminated water. That's why we're here. We are here because we want the EPA to know, we want Floyd to know, we will not stand for Region 5 office in Chicago being moved and dislocated and we not having access. Is that right? Yes. We want to stop that. Yes. We are here because we oppose EPA being gutted and the Trump administration cutting 97% of the budget for our water and for the West Lake projects. Yes. We will not tolerate it. We will not tolerate it. Need to be accountable. We are here because we are demanding justice. We want full funding for the EPA, okay. not for it to be done. Yes. We have just left a meeting with the national president of the NAACP. We are pleased that we are joining with them. We are calling for the full funding of the EPA. We are calling for Medicare for all for life. Yes. We are demanding that the cleanup that's happening in West Calumet zones one and two, that it be more than just the two feet that they have been doing. It's not enough. We want the standards in Indiana to be changed from 400 parts per million to 100 parts per million. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We want clean dirt. We want them to keep remediating until there's clean, clean soil. That's right. Yeah. And if this place is ever brought to the standards of residential, and this is the place where we stand, we are demanding that there be a community benefits agreement that benefits all the folks who have been displaced and benefits the folks who are suffering and living with environmental justice and environmental racism. Yes. Yes. I will now call on our first speaker and Mr. Mitra Turner, who is still a resident here in the West Calumet Complex. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. And I want to first start off by saying, we are truly in the fight of our lives. We got to keep standing. We got to keep pushing. We got to make our voice heard. And we got to let them know, we're not going anywhere. This whole situation has been such a complete injustice. I want to share a little bit of my story. I was just moved into West Calumet May 2nd of 2016. Why would they continue to move residents in a place that they have known was contaminated all right, all right, for yeah, years? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. This is not something new. This is something that they were already aware of. Yes, that's right, that's right. This has been so stressful. I just recently got out of the hospital. This has been so stressful. I have illnesses. I have diabetes. And because of all the stress of this situation, my sugar rose. My doctor said, no more. I understand what you're doing, but you have to sit still a minute. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not a full speed, but I'm here because I know we have a job to do. Yeah. yeah. We have a job to do. Right. Yes. And we're going to win. Yeah. We stand strong, we stand together, and we win. Yes. Woo! That's right. That's right. That's right. Keep fighting, people. Yes. Keep fighting, because that's what it takes. Yes. We're going to win this. Yes. Thank you. Yes.